remember what the haters talking about. What's up, family? When former football star Antonio Brown went on social media and declared, no more white women, apparently he wasn't talking about the mother of his children, Chelsea, because he just proposed to her. In an Instagram video, he was filming himself rubbing her back and caressing her, and he said, I just proposed. Don't know if she said yes, I'm assuming that she did, because they have that type of relationship. I'm not saying that she doesn't love the man, but damn, they have a very toxic relationship. Just a few months ago, Antonio Brown was filmed in a viral video calling the mother of his children everything but a child of God. They were arguing over her trying to take one of his cars as Bentley used one of the cars to take the kids to school. Uh, it was rumored that she was Ubering around, so she had nothing. I don't know if he felt like he was being used or whatever, but he talked to that woman like a dog in front of his kids. That ain't cool. If they did all of that in public, if he did that publicly, I mean like with no trepidation whatsoever, Imagine what they do when those doors are shut. Now, typically, I'm the type of person to root for people that are in a relationship. I root for love. I love seeing love. Puts a smile on my face. But I think that these two, while they may love each other, the relationship is too toxic to survive. And I think it's only a matter of time before they have a huge public fallout again. There are certain lines, once you cross them, they can't be uncrossed. Like the things that he said to that woman. Now, I don't know what she did for him to feel that she deserved to be talked to that way. But... I'm just saying, to behave like that in front of your children, to, to use that type of language towards the mother of your children, as a man, you have to be more self-conscious. You have to be more aware of how you're speaking, and you have to keep your emotions in check. As a man, you can't afford to lose control. Because, you know, a man lose control, a man can become very aggressive. And usually when that happens, bad things happen, right? So it's, very, it's imperative that a man maintains his self-control at all times. He can't afford to lose control, not even once. Because somebody can end up dead. You got to think, what's the worst thing that could happen? Somebody could end up dead. I think Antonio Brown needs some serious counseling. As far as I know, he hasn't had any type of counseling from a friend, an expert, a member of the clergy, nothing. He needs some type of therapy because dude is unhinged. Some people are saying that the only reason why he proposed to the woman is because He's trying to clean up his image so that he can get back into the NFL. You know, he's just saying that if he marries this woman, NFL will look at it and perhaps think that he's settled down. You know, he's, he's simmered down and, you know, he's ready for a second chance. I don't know. The dude is talented. If one thing about it, you cannot deny his talent. But I've seen a many talented people in my life blow their talent. I've seen people just totally disrespect their talent.
take it for granted. And eventually, they ended up in a very bad place. I hope that's not the case for A.B. I hope he can pull it together. But that brother needs some counseling. And I, I don't know the, about the girl. I, ain't, I really haven't seen her acting erratic. But I know I've seen A.B. And I've seen him go back to back to back to back to back to back acting erratic, irresponsible, uh, being that boogeyman that America tries to paint black men to be. You dig what I'm saying? He got so much to, to lose. He has so much potential. And it seems like to me he's just throwing it all away. I hope that he can pull it together for the sake of himself, for the sake of them babies. That's the most important thing in the way I see it. A man should never let his children hear him speak ill of their mother. This is the person who brought them into the world. It is hard for them to hear anybody go against her. It's hard for a child to hear anybody bad mouth the person who brought them into the world. Even if that person is like one of the worst people in the world. Most children just don't appreciate people speaking ill of their mother. I'm not saying A.B. and his children's mother can't work it out. But it's going to take a whole lot of work and divine intervention. Let us pray. No more talk. What, what, what the ladies talking about?